All right, just getting ready for our backpacking trip in the morning, sorting out our food, and I'll just kind of go over. I kept it kind of simple. I'm not doing any of the dehydrated meals. There's three of us and those mountain house and stuff like that. Um, you know, they're like $12, $14 a person a meal, and um, it's just too expensive. So I'm going to give you a little overview of my budget kind of meal. So I go to Trader Joe's for this lavish bread. It's amazing. Um, one of the nights we are going to do um, the campfire calzones. I got pepperoni, does not need to be refrigerated. This I'm going to put in a Ziploc and not bring in the jar this time. And I got two of these because one of them is going to be for campfire calzones. The other will going to be for lunches and I'll get into that in a minute. Since I started with dinner, let's go ahead and finish. Um, another one's just going to be these Norse Selects. Um, it's a pasta with marinara sauce. And then we're going to have red beans and rice with smoked sausage. Now let's skip down to breakfast. Um, we're going to have protein pancakes. It's a toasted coconut protein pancake, which I took out of the box and I put here. You just have to add water. And I'm bringing a little bit of real maple syrup to go with that. Also, I'm going to bring like a half a stick of butter for both cooking and pudding on it. Um, for breakfast, we're going to be having some hot cider and tea. This is after dinner drinks for the kids. And then the other two breakfasts we're going to have are just... Um, cheese uh, cheddar cheese instant grits and i got some meat sticks that we're going to cut into those like usual got some hot sauce, pa sauce packets and then that's breakfast so uh lunch is going to be pretty simple i got a big thing of trail mix that i put together myself just nuts raisins peanut m ms candied ginger um and then we also have apples here. And I got some a couple mustard, Boar's Head mustard packets. Uh, I like to just kind of raid the deli at the local grocery store. I buy something and then I just grab a bunch of packets of stuff. Um, they're easy to bring. But in addition to that, like I said, we're going to have the extra lavish bread. And I got summer sausage and we're going to bring a uh, thing of uh, cheddar cheese to go with that with the mustard and that's pretty much all of the food for three people for uh, three nights of camping um, four days basically but the first day is just going to be dinner and the last day is just going to be breakfast so um, there's a couple other little odds and ends that I still need to get I have the cheese for this still in the refrigerator Actually, I froze it. Um, believe it or not, it's going to be pretty cold out. So uh, the night temperature is going to be in the 40s. And one of them, the second night, is going to be 38. So cheese is fine to bring. It's going to be like in a refrigerator overnight up in the bear bag. Um, the rest of this stuff does not need to be refrigerated. This, um, once you cut into it, like if you get a true summer sausage, I mean, you don't need to refrigerate it. Pretty much, you can last all summer, but these kind of more manufactured ones do need to re be refrigerated at some point. But they last for a good three days without refrigeration, um, especially in this type of weather. Now, if it was 90 degrees out, eh, maybe not. But uh, the high temperature is going to be in the upper 50s, and the lows in the 40s and upper 30s. So I am not concerned about that. So there we go. That's our food.